The few Takahes left in the wild live on New Zealand's South Island. What a beautiful bird! It looks like a colorful chicken. Would you like to hear the story of the Takahe? Yes! I love. Once, on the islands of New Zealand, lived a bird called the Takahe. Little by little, the Takahes began to disappear because they were hunted by many predators, including humans. Until about 100 years ago, people thought they appeared forever. Aww, there were none of them left? That means they were extinct. However, a scientist mm. named Dr. Jeffrey Orbell refused to believe they were extinct. He searched until one day he found a small group of Takahes still living in the mountains. So they're not extinct. Yes! But Takahes are still endangered, as there aren't many of them left. Wow! It was so lucky Dr. Orbell found more Takahes. We really hope we look after them better than we did before. Hey! <laughs> Kangaroo! Kangaroos are the world's largest marsupial and are found in Australia. What are you doing, Marco? Practicing jumping. <laughs> I'm in the sack race on sports day. <laughs> and I've come to learn how to jump from the best. <laughs> Kangaroos. They are excellent at jumping. The biggest of them can spring over two large cars. Look at it leap. Whoa, that kangaroo has a joey sticking out of it. That young kangaroo stays inside its mother's pouch till it's about eight months old. Joeys are tiny when they're born, the size of a peanut. They have to climb up into their mother's pouch so that they can feed on her milk. They stay safe there until they're ready to leave the pouch. Imagine having to jump around with a joey sticking out of your tummy. It'd be like having to carry Nash in the sack race. Huh? Not gonna happen, Nash. Not gonna happen. Aww. Let's write sneak. S. N. A. E S N A K E Sneak Frill Necked Lizard Frill-necked lizards are found in northern Australia. They're members of the dragon family. I really like how lizards spend a long time being very still, but then move really fast when they need to. The frill-necked lizard has another special skill, too. Can I see it? There you go. <laughs> Whoa! The frill makes it look much bigger and scarier. Oh, very scary, Chester. Fanning out their necks and opening their mouths. Is how frill neck oh. lizards ward off predators? Exactly, Chester. Bye-bye. But when that doesn't work, the frill neck lizard runs away fast. Running on their back legs has earned them the title the bicycle lizard. And they don't stop until they reach the safety of a tree. <laughs> Can we see that again? <laughs> Sure. Freeze! And run, 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 run! Safe at last, my super frilly-necked lizard friend!
Let's write food. F. O. O. D. F. O. O. D. Food. Wombat. Wombats live in the forests and grasslands of Australia. That poop is shaped like a cube. Can you guess who it belongs to? I can't. But Inspector Willow can! Time to solve the great cube poop mystery! What kind of creature could it be? It's a marsupial. Marsupials carry their young in a pouch. Is it a kangaroo? Nope. But you're getting close. That's a wombat! Wombats are marsupials? <laughs> yes! Wombats have a backwards-facing pouch. Excuse me, wombat. Do you make cube-shaped poops? Wait! The wombat is eating bark. Maybe the shape of the poop has something to do with what it eats? You're nearly there, Inspector Willow. Wombats also eat grass, bushes, and leaves. Food that's pretty tough to break down. So, if it takes a long time to digest, it makes the poops cube-shaped. You got it! The mysterious cube-shaped poopers are... Wombats! Another case solved by Inspector Willow. Un. Now, let's tap this word. Un. Find the sight word. Un. 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 Just. Un.